Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm here in Okinawa, Japan at this fish store called Okinawa Bianco. It's really amazing. Gotta come check it out if you ever visit this place. But we're taking a look at some amazing rice fish. This is the part two video. I'm super excited to show you guys. But right here, I'm standing in the rice fish corner. There's just so many things to look at. Look at all this red color rice fish right here. These are just incredibly beautiful. And um, man, these ones here too. And look how they keep them. There's no air stone, no filtration, no plants. Of course, it would be nice to put plants, but this is so that people can see the fish. Those are some amazing colors. The blue stardust uh, rice fish is what that's called. Over here, there's a few more blue ones. Really nice. You can see this one has a little filter with some plants. But this is how like a, a average person will keep rice fish in Japan. Very simple setup in a little pond like this. And I've got a video too, you can watch it up there. But yeah, these ones are the white rice fish. You can see here it says Shiro Medaka, which means white rice fish. And these ones are beautiful. I have a few of these at home. And along the, the glass window, you can see a whole bunch of terrariums and they look really, really good. I like this one right here on the driftwood. It's hard to see because of the, the light that's coming in. It's making the whole video look dark. You can see below there are a few mini ponds for you to buy and keep rice fishing. There's a few more tubs down here, different colors. Um, here's a styrofoam one in a square shape. Looks really nice. I've got to set up a few of those in the future. Here's ceramic ones. These are really nice. Really solid too. Here's one little paludarium-like setup. And there's some rice fish in here too. I saw just now. Let me see if I... Oh, oh no, they're not rice fish. White cloud minnows. These white cloud minnows are one of my favorite fish. Um, man, they're just so beautiful. I love the colors on this fish. Oh wait, I think this is the one with the little rice fish. Yeah, check that out. There's the rice fish. So I was mistaken about the tank just now. Look at all that mist. Is it you know, the fog? I'm not so sure what it's called, but it looks really nice. You can see the rice fish swimming there. That this tank excites me even more. And look at this. See water trickling down. The moss looks super healthy. Look at all these plants. Man, I have no idea what these plants are, but... I really want to learn about this stuff. Keep this stuff alive. All this stuff is so cool, and the light. Man, this tank. I could just go on and on about this, but that's just amazing. Uh, so here... We have a planted display tank. I could seriously just keep going on and on about each of these tanks, but I've got to move on. Uh, let's take a look at this right here. This here is small little aquariums, and they look awesome. Of course, there's no fish in there, but I guess you could put a few rice fish, but I guess it's better not to. Or shrimp. Shrimp would be perfect. Look at that cherry shrimp in there. Um, so yeah, above you have smaller tanks. Look at that CO2 in there. You have some cardinal tetras, ember tetras. The ember tetras look really amazing. I love that. Look at the red plants in there. Amazing. Uh, here you have a, a bit more simpler tank with some green plants. You have some mollies in here, some tetras. I think they're the Pristella tetras, if I'm not mistaken. You have ADA products everywhere. On this side you have like the Dua products, the D-O-O-A, really nice scissors, I love the brand. Here you have a planted tank, I love the fish in here. The color is just amazing, let me make it darker a little bit so it's better for you to see. But... And if you want some of that soil, there's ADA Amazonia soil right here, there's some bags of sand, and of course, 
there's more selections for you to choose from as well and here there's a nice planted tank you can see the co2 is in the side right there uh, this tank has some angelfish and some cardinal tetras and is that a purple emperor tetra that is beautiful i've only seen a few of these purple emperor tetras in my life and those are beautiful fish right there there's a whole bunch of little driftwood for you to choose um, then it gets bigger and bigger escaping rocks oh look this is cool you can plan out your escapes here and there's a little tank here and a few more small planted tanks that are really nice I love how they have so many display tanks in the store there's just a whole bunch and there's more to come and we'll check out this amazing arowana um, later here's a nice tank and there's a tiny little planted tank right here with a clown pillyfish. I love how it goes green, red, green. Really nice. And here, wow, look at this. Is this a DIY CO2? Yeah, planted CO2, but I guess, oh, it's by Gek, so you can buy this in a bottle. Look at the shrimp. Shrimp looks amazing in there. And here there's another one with some little tetras. The scapes look amazing. And if we look over here, there's some fake plants. I don't know who the heck gets fake plants, but I mean, that's, that's up to you. Personal preference, right? I like live plants. Oh, look at this. Look at this tank right here. There's a little ember tetra in there. Oh, there's two. Nice. Here as well, another small tank. Yeah, really cool. Really nice store this is. Some fish tanks that you can buy. Over here as well, another display tank. I love the openness of this tank. And look at the rocks. The, the plants just grow over the rocks. It's so cool. And over here, there's some small bags of substrate. Here you have nets. Little rice fish specific nets. Um, hmm, let's take a look. I'm not so sure what this tank is. I see a whole bunch of sand in there, so I'm not so sure. But here's... A nice simple tank. I think this is the type of tank you can put in your office or something. This one is by Gex. And here is a salt water tank, a mini salt water tank. If you want to see more salt water stuff, definitely check out part one of this video. Look, that's that's right there is the entrance, and then there's a salt water tank there. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but yeah, then you have lights all over here. I'm thinking about getting this for one of my little terrariums. It's a cool looking light. And then you have your filter materials. A bunch of filtration products here. Slim filters. Um, I saw sponge filters as well somewhere. You could spend all day here. I've already spent a few hours here. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look over there. So this is the salt water section here. There's the fresh water section. So I showed this in the last video in part one. I didn't show this. This is beautiful. There's some white cloud minnows in here. Wow, the colors in this are amazing. I love it. Look at the java fern and the carpet on this. It's crazy, it's amazing. And over here you have a planted goldfish tank. This tank looks amazing as well. You can see all this bulbitis. The goldfish in here look really healthy, really nice. And you guys saw this in the other video too. 
here's a nice little quantity tank with a platy. And this is it right here. This is the Monster Red Arowana. Take a look at that. This guy is huge. The girth on that is just incredible. And then here's a Bicher. I think this is called the Lapradae Bicher. And there's a Black Diamond Stingray in there. That's amazing. And an albino pleco too. Let's walk around this tank. So yeah, take a look at this. So this guy does have a bit of drop-by on the other side, as you could probably see just now, but this side looks perfectly fine. Just an amazing size. Let me see if I can give you a comparison a little bit. Uh, can you see that? It's huge. Oh, there's something in there. Is that a knife fish? A black ghost knife fish or something? Mm, but this thing is huge. I'll try to take a picture next to this uh, so that you guys can see. So this is a black ghost knife fish and that is probably the biggest black ghost knife fish I've ever seen. Take a look at it compared to the arowana. Man, that's the first time I've seen a black ghost knife swimming side by side with an Asian arowana. That is incredible. Never seen that before. So man, you gotta give this video a thumbs up. This, some of this stuff here today I've never seen in my life. Um, but look, oh! And it's going back in its home. Oh no, it's not. Oh, but that is so... Oh yeah, it is going back. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, but isn't that just amazing? It's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. But yeah, we'll take a little bit of a look on this side. Um, what do they have here? Oh, some amazing discus. Look at the discus here. Quite amazing. So many choices. Just like the rice fish, there's a huge, huge variety of discus to choose from. Uh, there's a whole bunch of Corydoras, and I love how the staff are so active in making all of these little posters and cards for the customers to read. So over here, there's a bunch of little tetras that you can put in planted community tanks or aquascape tanks. This one here is one of my favorites, the Silver Tip Tetra. Just looks like an incredible fish. Uh, the Pristella Tetra. Uh, Red Phantoms. Let's see, let's see. Over here they have the Glow Light Tetra. And they have some Mollies. Mollies on this whole section. The Corydoras, did I show you that already? I'm not too sure, but yeah, they have a whole Corydora section right here. Here as well, all Corydoras. And then over here, um, there's some barbs. These are a type of tiger barbs. So there's the green tiger barb there. And then another type, hard to see on camera, but here are the normal tiger barbs. They look really good. Love the stripes on that. Uh, rasporas here, little rasporas. And then these look amazing, the Odessa barbs. Right now, the color isn't really there, but when you put them in a beautiful planted tank, the colors will just pop and they look amazing. Um, these are the red line torpedo. They're still really small size. And over here, you have some turtles. Wow, so many turtles. I've never seen this amount of different turtles in a fish store before. And then after these cute little turtles, there's this whole section of 
goldfish and here you can see some really beautiful ones. I'll try to take some close-ups so that you can see the, the true color of these. These are some amazing Ryukins right here. beautiful white and black color ranchi and it's a good size too it's like almost the size of my hand if you can see that that's a beautiful I've never seen any ranchu like that darn I really wish I could have that black and white ranchu it looks so good if you guys enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to this channel I'll see you next time